What I have before me is a daylight balance LED light fixture made by Vizio, and Vizio is a company based out of Taiwan. This is their Zoom 350. The Zoom, of course, is the spot, spot flood feature, uh, typical on uh, almost every Fresnel, and the 350 is the power output. And as you can see, it's your kind of your typical uh, Fresnel light fixture. Um, it does have a glass Fresnel lens, aluminum construction, and out back, it just has your, your power switch, power connector. This, of course, is the uh, screw for the spot flood and your DMX connectors if you do use DMX. On the side, these two bu push buttons set the DMX address with a small LED to give a little bit of information. And then, of course, the uh, dimmer switch. Now, what's uh, somewhat unique about this light fixture, at least for its output of 350 watts, is that it is essentially, it looks like a single LED emitter. So when I look inside this light, I see a rather large single LED. As opposed to many lights, they have like an array of, of small LEDs that have lenses or micro lenses, and they do uh, permit a fair amount of output. However, unless you have like some very heavy diffusion in front of those light fixtures, they are multi-shadow. They will cast multi-shadows. Whereas this fixture, it looks again like a single large LED with a true glass Fresnel lens, and this is as close to a single shadow LED light fixture that I found. Now, the other thing that's fairly unique about this light fixture is, is the spread at the uh, flood position. Now, here I have the light. I'm going to measure it with our digital tape measure. And Okay, the light is five feet, seven inches from the wall directly behind me. And when I'm at full flood, as you can see, it's essentially covering the entire, the entire wall that's visible with our lens. Um, to me, this was like an unusually wide flood. And it's probably the strength of this light. Um, the, the other strength, of course, is the power consumption. Uh, so let's just measure it quickly. Now, you know, we are at 110, so I'm using a line splitter. And right now, at full power, this unit is consuming less than 3 amps at 120 volts. It's a 2.9 and change in terms of amperage. So with this light fixture, we could essentially plug in five of these units on a single 15 amp household uh, circuit. That's pretty typical in North America. Now with daylight balance fixtures, uh, we always want to check uh, color fidelity. So again, using our Handy phone, we're going to check that quickly. Oh, let's uh, turn off, let's turn off the tungsten. And right now I'm reading 6,200 degrees Kelvin at a 12 M, so it has a magenta cast. All right, now this light is fairly cool, 6,200 Kelvin today with a 12 M. So 12 M, we could, uh, I think we could correct with a uh, plus one eighth green. Uh, but on the other hand, again, for myself, magenta is not nearly as offensive as green in terms of a color cast for a light. And for the most part, we've been using um, this light uncorrected for the past nine months uh, in direct sunlight and in daylight settings. Um, again, the reason I think, one of the reasons I think I could get away with this, uh, essentially, is that most cameras do have a tendency to uh, favor the greens. Uh, like the telltale area always is the shadow area on a face where they tend to go green or sometimes a muddy brown. Um, and having a light fixture that's uh, very slight, that has a slight magenta cast is generally not that noticeable and not that offensive. Now, of course, we can do better with the color temperature and with the uh, magenta tint. So let's take a look at a typical daylight setup where we'll use this light. Now, the true test for any daylight fixture is how well does it play with the sun? Now off to uh, camera right. Again, we have uh, sunlight hitting diffusion on our window. And off to camera left, I am going to turn on our LED light. Now, immediately you can see that the LED is, it has that slight magenta cast, uh, almost to the effect where it, it almost turns the, the natural daylight, like it almost has like a, a slightly green tint. Now looking at our Sun meter, I see that we are at 
100 degrees Kelvin and uh, with a 10M, a 10M tint. Again, you know, as the ambient conditions change, the, the color temperature, of course, always changes. And daylight is looking at 5800 with a two magenta tint uh, at this very moment. <clears throat> now, a 10 magenta tint really isn't that bad, but can we do better? So let's add a 1 8 plus green. Reach over. Gonna lower that gel. And now I am at 57. 5730 Kelvin, 5730 degrees Kelvin with a 1M magenta tint. So that 1 8 uh, plus green, it uh, warmed us up a little bit and importantly it corrected out the uh, magenta tint from the light. And hopefully it'll look, uh, it'll look pretty close once I get onto the monitor. Outside again continues to be, uh, well it's 5800 at a 2M tint. So we're really close just by adding a plus 1 8 green and uh, that's a real good indication about the, this light. Okay, that wraps it up for the Vizio Zoom 350, 350 watt output daylight balance Fresnel fixture, LED Fresnel. Now, as you saw, just with the addition of 1 8 plus green, we were able to get, uh, in my opinion, incredibly accurate color out of this light fixture on a human face, or at least with, you know, with my face. And that's just, um, it's a little unusual and it's just, it's a great move forward. Um, very recently, I saw this light fixture for sale at B&H. Now it was under the ICANN brand name and it was painted black. So I think that, well, it looks like ICANN is now distributing these lights in North America. If you get a chance to uh, get to B&H and take a look at it, I do recommend you do so. Otherwise, uh, I'm continue, I will continue to use these lights on my shoots without any hesitation at all.